my name is Peter Kimani Mwangi and I'm introducing Dr. Da Jakare Damages. Woo! Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. New York City! Yes, yes, yes. New York City is so great that we gave Donald Trump a befitting welcome. Oh yeah, he came what? back to the last week. We gave him a welcome, but for the first time since he became president, he okay. came back to New York City. Watch. <laughs> I know oh New York hates you. <laughs> okay, okay, you caught me there. No big deal. It's not a big deal. That is how New Yorkers welcome their papa and their mama home. <laughs> so it's not just about Donald Trump. It's not about him. It's not about him. But, but guess what? Guess what? The president went into his house through the back door <laughs> so that he would not see the, the protesters. He didn't want to see them wow. through the back door. <laughs> but, but you can be sure that inside his penthouse, he has white supremacists, hmm. <laughs> neo Nazis, oh. the KKK people. They were there waiting for him. Hey. <laughs> you know, no, he can he can run away from them. The ultra left. He can run away from the left, but the right he cannot. Those are his friends, his comrades. You know, people from the other side. <laughs> from the other side. So 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 while I was away in Kenya, uh -huh. the Nazis came out to celebrate President Donald Trump. What? Okay, 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 no, no, no. They did not come out to celebrate him. Okay, I understand. They came out to reclaim their country for the Confederate general. You remember him? General Lee. Yeah, the one who fought to break America up. Just wow. to ensure. His goal was to ensure that black people remain slaves in America. What? Watch them in action. <laughs> Now, now, these guys hate black people, hey. Latinos, hey. Muslims, hey. Asians, hey. and Jews. Hey. Wow. But, 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 but they love Jesus. But they love Jesus. Hey. <laughs> they love Jesus. I said, Paul Jesus. Jews, <laughs> but Paul Jesus. You know, Paul Jesus. How is it even possible? <laughs> it, it's like saying that you hate reggae, hmm. but you love wheat. <laughs> how? How? That is how corrupt their minds are. You know? Now, <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it. When one of them rammed his car into a crowd of counter-protesters. Mm. Now, these are protesters saying that white supremacists do not represent what America stands for. Mm. Trump came out to condemn both sides. What? Both sides? Watch, hey. watch Trump in action. But we're closely following the terrible events unfolding in Charlottesville, Virginia. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. Ah! You see, you see, you see, Trump is trying. But, but, but I don't think he is satisfying those fine people mm. from the other side. <laughs> I don't think so. I, if, you, if you doubt me, watch what this white supremacist said about Trump's daughter and the man she married. What? Somebody more capable uh, will, will come along and do that. Somebody like Donald Trump who does not give his daughter to a Jew. <laughs> so Donald Trump, but like more racist. A lot more racist than Donald Trump. I don't think that you could feel yeah. about race the way I do and watch that Kushner bastard walk around with that beautiful girl. Okay. I, I know, I know, I know, I know. All, all these bastards. <laughs> he, he said it, bastards. <laughs> now. Everyone but the KKK and their likes condemned Trump mm. for not naming those white supremacists mm. by their name mm. and for blaming both sides. Mm. Everybody said that. The next day, they handed a prepared speech mm. to Donald Trump. Oh, uh, what? And they teleprompter and said, go out there and read it. <laughs> watch, watch him, watch him. I would like to provide the nation with an update on the ongoing federal response to the horrific attack and violence that was witnessed by everyone. Wow. I know, I know. Now, now, I pity Trump. I mm. pity, I pity the man, you what? know. How pathetic could this man be? Mm. Reading from a teleprompter. What? Just like that disgusting man, Obama. Ha! Has he started to copy Obama? Mm. To fear what? Hey. I don't know who said what I just told you. <laughs> but, but, but that was all that Trump needed hey. to hear before he went on a major meltdown. Hey. Oh yeah. Trump went rogue. Mm. Is it not what happens every day? <laughs> watch, watch, watch him. <laughs> watch him. Wait a minute. I'm not finished. I'm not finished, fake news. 
That was a horrible day. They showed Mr. Arnold's Excuse me. to protest. Excuse me. They didn't know themselves now, Mr. Yoder. And you had some very bad people in that group. Wow. I know. I know. I know. That, that's it. The mm. man has gone completely bonkers. Mm. A president begging mere reporters, telling them, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Ah. Trump. Come on. Don't bring down the presidency of America, this law. Mm. Come on. Come on. Eh? Even the retired general brought in as his uh, chief of staff. You know him? <laughs> John, John, John Kelly. Yeah, yeah. Even the man. The man was baffled. Mm. Look, look at the man. Look at how he was. Ah. He was saying, in, in, in that picture, he was saying, there are some parts of Donald Trump mm. that even God cannot control. Ah. His big mouth, mm. his fragile ego, uh. and his itching fingers. Ah. That, that was what the man was saying there. He said, I, I give up, I give up. And that political actor that even God cannot control yeah. is the wife of Robert Mugabe hey. of Zimbabwe. You know, you know the woman? Mugabe. Yeah, you know her? That beautiful Grace Mugabe. You know, mm. the wife, no, God cannot, nobody can control her. She fell ill the other day. Mm. and went to South Africa for treatment. Yeah. Wow. Now, if you look at it, if you call it, it's cheaper to go to South Africa than London and <laughs> to spend 100 days in London. No, you know, it's cheaper. Uh, it's cheaper. No, 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 I believe it. While in South Africa, she visited her sons who live in that country. Mm. Now, now, the boys had been kicked out of their apartment for who knows what, you know. Uh, <laughs> Some people say that they passed a vote of no confidence on Jacob Zuma. I, I maybe, maybe that's what happened. I don't know. The point is that they were living in a hotel when Grace hey. arrived. Oh, yeah. Now, when their mother walked into their hotel room with her bodyguards, mm. 10 of them, not, not just one, 10 of them, the boys ran out. Mm. Who will blame them? You know, if I will run out of here, if Mamudoka comes here with 10 bodyguards, I'm out. Uh -huh. You know, so, so a South African model with uh, Mugabe boys in that room was left at the mercy of Grace Mugabe. Hey. Now, what do you think will happen in that situation? What do you think? Do you think that Grace will cuddle her young woman yeah. and call her my future, my future daughter, my future daughter-in-law? Hey. <laughs> of course, of course not. Of course not. First of all, Grace, Grace had to give her a test and see if she knew how to cook ugali and chapati. <laughs> I mean, that's quite appropriate if you ask me. You know. So Grace took an extension cord, ordered her bodyguards to hold her down, mm. and she gave her a beating of her life. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, it was the model. A, 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 the model, yeah. Here is here is the result. Watch. Wow. I know, I know. Serious. Most wow. people, most people don't understand why people were going about up and down saying Grace has come again. Grace has come again. Mm. But but that was not what happened. You know, yeah. I hate when people destroy the character of beautiful and hard-working African first ladies mm. like Grace Mugabe. I hate that. I hate that. They, they did the same thing to the beautiful and hard-working person, Jonathan. Mama, Mama Peace. Peace. Eh? They did, and some of you Peace. here, I know, they did the same thing to her. They did the same thing to the beautiful and hard-working Lucy Kabaki. Hey. 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 The, the what may, may her soul rest in peace. Hey. You know? When I went to Kenya, I wanted I miss her so much. Kenyans missed her too. I wanted to go to her grave and, and, and pray for her. Mm. But 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 I didn't have the chance. <laughs> <laughs> now now then they are doing the same thing today, damaging the character of Chantel Beer, the wife of uh, the president of uh, Cameroon, Paul Beer. You know, you know, such a nice hair. <laughs> such a nice hair. You know, you know, I, I wonder often how her child would be if she had married them. Um, what's the name of this senator from Kaduna said? Sheikh Husani, yes. How would the child they would have be like, you know? Anyway, anyway, Grace. Uh, Grace had legitimate reasons to fear any South African woman around any of her sons. Why? Oh, yeah. Oh, here is why. Look at this woman. Can, wow. can you see her? Yeah, yeah. Ni nice legs. <laughs> now, that South African woman opened her mouth, the mouth that she uses to eat ugale and chapati, and said this, and I quote, even Robert Mugabe knows that I don't wear panties. Hey! Look at her, and oh, just think wow. about it. Think, it, no, no, she said it. It's, it's the headline of the news now. What do you think she was implying by saying that? Nothing. She wants Robert Mugabe's blood pressure to jump up. Hey! That was it. Look, oh, at, look at the woman and look at the Mugabe. <laughs> this is it's what we call suicide by seduction. Hey! <laughs> I, can you trademark that thing for me? Suicide by seduction. Hey. Now, if you were the wife of Mugabe, mm. wouldn't you be suspicious of any other African, South African woman mm. around your son? Yeah. You know, I'm asking you, if you were, you would be suspicious. Mm -hmm. Anyway, anyway, anyway. When police came, Grace Mugabe 
had to report to South African police station. Uh -huh. There she claimed diplomatic immunity, mm. took her things and left the country. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Now, now, the South African police, they have declared Grace Mugabe wanted. Uh. Now, I don't think that Jacob Zuma wants this diplomatic uh, role to start happening right now mm. because his position in South Africa is still fragile. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, her sons went on social media and they wrote, I quote, they keep talking and we keep rolling. Hey! <laughs> the boys are rolling. You, rolling. Pe you people are talking. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 nonsense, nonsense. Nonsense. So, so let this be a lesson to all you South African women. Our mumu don't do. Mm. You know how it's done. We real African. <laughs> Did I say that? <laughs> Our mumu don't do. Hey. Now, talking about African first ladies and yes. the important roles that they play in their country. Mm. While I was in Kenya, I saw the wife of President Uhuru Kenyatta hey. stand on the line for four hours to vote? just to vote for her hey. husband. Four good hours. The, ra the rain was drizzling and she stood there. Hey. That was when I knew that Raila Odinga was gone. <laughs> ah. I knew he was, she, the man was gone. She did not ask for special treatment like the wife of Lagos State uh, Governor. What's the name of that uh, bimbo? Uh, What's the name of that bimbo? Uh, Bolanle Ambode. Yes yes, 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 yes. She stood there until it was her turn to vote. Mm. That her vote with another 1.4 million others mm. meant that Raila Odinga will never have his turn to be president of Kenya. Hey, the, man, the man is gone. Yeah. Now, is gone? now, Dr. Damages was there. Life. Mm. What? Shoka kwa nini kwa TV? Kwa hii, kwa hii is picha. Itoka kwa hii picha. Hini zama watu wa rakiche. Na watu wa rakiche. Sasa, mtuliambiwa, sisi tutakua 700 kwa line. Hii 700 I saw, hii ndi mali nipanga. Nipanga hii line, 700. Hawa mnataka kuriki kura hii jini watu wa tangazaji. TV, sayi ni sangapi. <laughs> I know, I know. The man, the, 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 I know, I know. The man was speaking in Swahili. What he was saying was, he was saying, our mumu don't do in Swahili. That was what he was saying. He said that they were not going to kill themselves as they did in 2007 mm -hmm. and burn down their country because of these politicians. You know, yes. they're, they're beginning to get sense that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the man who lost, Raila Odinga, appears to be determined that he will take Kenya down with him. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. He's been he's been calling for strike and people are being killed. Now talking of our Mumu Dondo, did you all hear that uh, Charlie Boy's um what's it called resign or resume, uh, resume or resign. protest in Abuja yes. has been suspended? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, poor, poor Charlie Boy, poor, poor Charlie Boy. No, no, no. It wasn't because Buhari had resumed. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, uh, we crossed the 100-day mark and we are marching on. Mm. It wasn't because of that. No, 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 no. Charlie Boy was making great progress mm. until he took the fight to Wuse Market in Abuja. Hey! You know the market? Hey, yes, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, Most people do not know this. But when, when you saw Buhari meeting um, his media people, Femi Adeshina and uh, what's the name of the other guy? Gaba uh, Shehu and all those people. It was because of the pressure from the likes of Charlie Boy. Mm. Hey. No, no, who were insisting that he should resign or resume? Yes. That was why that was why Buhari did that. Nice. Look, look at that, look at them. Ha, ah, nice, wow. nice shoes, Mr. President. I didn't know when, when you are sick, you still find time to find the right shoe. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, in fact, if Charlie Boy had continued, by next week, we will have seen Buhari running the marathon in, in London. Yes. Just just to just to prove that he can run Nigeria. He will have done that. Yes. But Charlie Boy gave up, you know? Sadly, Charlie Boy ignored the first rule of real estate investment, mm. which is location, 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 location. That's the first rule. When an area father takes his fight from zone A to zone B mm. without permission, the area boys in zone B will fight back. Yes. That was what happened. That was what happened to Charlie Boy. He took his fight to Wuse Market. Mm. Oh, yeah. You see? You see? <laughs> So sad. His car was damaged. He almost got lynched. Mm. Oh yeah, those who attacked Charlie Boy <laughs> were called thugs and hoodlums. Hoodlums. Yeah, hoodlums. That's what they, that's what they call them. But but the actual way to describe them is with their proper name. Yes. What? The people Charlie Boy was fighting for. <laughs> that's, that's that's what that's what they are. But that's people true. people didn't know. Oh, people hey. didn't know. Yeah. Now scared to death, Charlie Boy suspended his protests. Mm. He said it was due to death threats. Mm. Hey. Yeah. 
Uh, he even blamed the uh, um, two face be Dibia for not joining. <laughs> 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 I know, I know, I know. I know, yeah. Look at look at Charlie Boy talking about that. Anyway, as we expect, once that threat was mentioned, a new group jumped in right here in New York City. Hey! Ah! Yeah, 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 look at him. What do we want? Don't we know? Don't we know some of these people here? Don't, 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 don't we know? Ah, is that not our noisemaker in India? No way! Get out of here, man! Yeah, get out of here, man! <laughs> anyway, anyway, why Shore and Co. were protesting in New York City over there? By the way, by the way, how is it that Adiola of Keeping Area was not there? Where was she? Do you know? I don't know. You don't know? Anyway, anyway, forget about her. Anyway, while Shore and Co. were protesting in New York City, a group of Nigerians went to Abuja House in London to basically tell Buhari to go home. Ah! He, imagine the others. Watch. Since 2017, Nigeria could be the greatest country on earth. We have the resources. We have the manpower. We shouldn't let a dinosaur like Buhari hold us back. He needs to go home. Wow. I, I mean, I mean, this must touch the president. It must touch the president. If he continues to stay, the number of protesters might increase day by day. It may get to a point when the British government would simply say to him, Hey, hey, Mr. President, you see, I think it's no more safe for us to keep uh, accommodating you in our country. <laughs> we are hereby revoking your right of abort. You know, if you want, unless you want to apply for political asylum. <laughs> I know, wait, 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 what am I hearing? Wait, wait, what am I hearing? What? What are you saying? Huh? That the president is on his way to Abuja. What? That, oh, oh, the plane has touched down in Abuja. Sasha! Sasha! Where, where is that? What is Sasha? Sasha! Sasha! Okay, okay. Can you get us straight to Abuja? Let's see. Something is going on there. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. What? Can you see what is happening there? Can, can you see? Oh, my God. All these people came out to see him. I tell you, these are not rented people. Yeah, they are no. not rented crowd. No, 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 no. They are rented crowds done to risk their lives running after vehicle. You know, man, this is where I think conventional wisdom ends. Yes, sir. So. This is where it ends. Can you tweet that in out? Oh. <laughs> now, people define mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. Is there any other politician in Nigeria that can get this kind of welcome after 103 days abroad? Is there oh, anyone? No. Nobody. Oh. I don't think so. Now, I tell you, I tell you, with this kind of adoring crowd, mm. I doubt if Buhari will understand that there were some things that happened in the last uh, one or three days. Hey. Some things that Nigeria went through hey. that are not right. They are abnormal. Hey. No, no, forget about the cost of these medical treatments. Think of the dignity of a nation mm. that the president of a country mm. is in another man's country. Not even any other man's country. The colonial master's country. I mean, yeah. I mean, it matters, but nothing matters in Nigeria. Nothing matters in that country. Nothing. I give up. When Two Face Zibia, Two Papa, had the news about what happened, mm -hmm. he said to uh, Kanu Wanko and uh, Jejo Kocha, he said, Have I? Does it mean that I've been reduced to the level of Charlie Boy? <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe that? Yeah, am I reduced to the level of Charlie Boy? Mm. Ah. Now, talking about levels. How many countries do we have breaking out from Nigeria now? How many? You, hey. Can you count? One, two, hey. how many republics? I lost, I lost count. Six, seven, I lost count. Ten, but, ten. but I must tell you, some of these republics, like Bendel Republic, uh -huh. they are just pretenders. Well, they, are pre they are pretenders. They are not sustainable. Bendel Republic was really like Bendel United. You remember yes. them, the football club? Yeah. They never won anything. They never won anything. Yes. The new republic that no one can mess around with it's called the Oduduwa Republic. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This leader is trying to prove a point. Yes. Now, his name is Adeyinka Grandson. Mm. I think he's the grandson of Adeyinka, Ade Ade I suppose. Adeyinka, Ade Ade he must be, he must be. He's a small boy of yesterday. Mm. He's not acting his age. The boy is not playing at all. Hey. The young man said he will use chemical weapons hey. to attack the federal government. What? If it fails to give him Oduduwa Republic by his 21st birthday. Hey! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. That's what That's the boy. So look, look at the boy. Uh, look at the boy. Hey! Yeah. Now, you think you have a small boy president in North Korea shaking the world. Mm -hmm. Wait until grandson takes over Oduduwa. Hey! 
The man won't have mercy. The, look, look at his face. No mercy. And it's all my luck. Mm. Just when I got Lindy Cage to give me a small room at her boy's quarter. Hey. At that banana island. Yeah. Ah. This Sodud war warrior is out to destroy my plan to return to Nigeria. Ah. You know, that, that was my plan. I get to Linda, stay at her voice quarter, then I find my footing, you know? Anyway, ah. anyway, like I told you, like I told you, most of these republics are pretenders, mere mm. pretenders. Mm. You cannot compare them to the Biafran Republic mm. that was there before Lord Lugard. Lord mm. Forget about Lord Lugard. Who is for Lord Lugard? I'm talking about that. Lord Lugard is a small boy. Biafra Republic was there before Pontius Pilate. Hey. Ah. Because you were, yeah, look at the map. Look at wow. the map. Mm. So, so the competition to get your own country is getting stiff in Nigeria. Mm. The big boys are taking big steps. Yes. Now, you know when Donald Trump uh, comes to partition Nigeria? That will be after his, uh, before his impeachment. Uh -huh, before his, right before his impeachment, he will come and partition Nigeria. When he comes, he will ask questions like this. You say you are a country. Do you have a flag? Mm. Do you have a constitution? Mm -hmm. Do you have walls around your border? Mm. Bende Republic doesn't, doesn't, even have a, doesn't even have a flag. Mm. So it's nonsense. If you, you have to show seriousness. Mm. But the most important question that Donald Trump will ask is, where is your security services? Hey! Very important. You cannot present charm wearing area boys mm. as your security services. You cannot do that. You cannot produce cult boys as your police and military. Hey! No. And you cannot produce boys brigade and uh, sc boy scouts and their marching band and say this, these are your security services. No. That will only signify that you are not ready for the big time. Hey! Oh yeah. Ready to be a country. Mm. You need uniformed young men who match to others mm. and are willing to die like zombies hey. for what they believe in. Wow. <laughs> for what they believe in. No, they have to be willing to do that. On that count, the beer friends stood out. Hey. Watch. Wait, 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 wait. Is that from another wood film? No. No? No, no, that's for real? Yes. Who is inspecting that guard of or no? What? The savior himself. I, I knew I knew it. I knew it. I knew I told you he will not resist it forever. I knew he will eventually agree to be president. Yes. After all, I mean, I mean, who I knew it. Most people do not know it. That was where the point where Jesus fell the Jews. Mm. Jesus refused to be their leader, commander in chief, mm. who will inspect God of honor like Namdi is doing here and lead them to war. Mm. That was when they parted away with Jesus. Said, oh, no, no, you become a Christian, we are Jews. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Namdi was the leader, the, so, the savior. You can't be a savior without leading them. Anyway, anyway, where was I? <laughs> now, look at the picture of the boys, you know? Mm. Like the Black Panther, I say Black yes. Power. Yes. <laughs> you know, they, let me tell you, I cannot wait for October one. Mm. That is when they will be deployed. That is it not deployed? Oh, is, no. is that not the date? Oh, is that, is, yeah. Once the trumpet blasts Ooh. and the hate speeches and the hate songs fill the air, mm. the security services will step out in formation. Yes. yes. Hey. Information. <laughs> Come, uh, hey, hey, come on, people, come on. Uh, okay, Beyonce's oh, dancers, yeah. Beyonce's dancers did better than this. <laughs> ah, ah. I mean, formation. It, any, any, anyway, anyway, anyway. Once they are deployed along the Biafran Republic, uh -huh. eh, you will never see something like this again. My surprise is, with these security forces, how come the federal government had the audacity mm -hmm. to say that they are taking Nande Kano back to, back to court? Yeah, yeah. With, with this, this, this what, what is going on? Hey! Huh? This, yeah. uh, is this uh, Osi, Osi Bajo, is he, does he start, start yes, smoke, started smoking yes, something? Yes, can't he see, can't he see the He's boys? So is he not afraid of these boys, man? <laughs> is he not afraid? Disappointed. Anyway, anyway, talking about disappointment. Talking about disappointment. Um, the Edo State House of Assembly 
they did that thing they normally do oh. <laughs> every other time, every, every other six months or something. They, you know, they, they tradition. They want to be in the watch them in action. They, they need their own republic. They need their own republic. Because because if they have their own republic, they won't have to be doing this. You know, the men we are making the move to impeach the Speaker of the House mm. for corruption and incompetence. Mm. Yeah, that's what they were doing. I, I don't know about I don't know the speaker. Do you know the speaker? I don't know him. I don't know. But the way he fought back showed me that he, he was so incompetent. So incompetent. His enemy was speaking on the floor of the house. Instead of him to take action and stop him. He sent his deputy speaker, a woman, mm. to go and, and okay, watch, watch what the woman did. How can this stop people trying to impeach you? How can that stop them? Yes. Huh? Competent speakers know that in this situation, you go for the maze, mm. the symbol of the house. Mm. It, oh, you don't ask them in River State. Look at that. Look at how it's done, my people. Ah. Look at how it's done. Eh? Nonsense. <laughs> Nonsense. APC is a bullying party, mm. says Atiku. You know, the former vice president. <laughs> is it not <laughs> No, no, you see, the man has fired his first shot. Mm. He is well on his way out of APC, mm. back home to PDP. Mm. That's, yeah. that's the plan. Now that Buhari is healthy, they are, not, they are they're all moving PDP. away. They are, uh -huh, yeah. Anyway, just to be president, he's, hey. he's the Odinga of Nigeria. <laughs> Odinga. Odinga of Nigeria. He's not going anywhere. <laughs> Four policemen dismissed for stealing Jonathan's properties. Mm. You remember the people that, that yes, stole his, yes, and yes. stole his thing? No. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the people who stole Nigeria's properties under Jonathan, like Desi and Alice in Madeke, uh -huh. they are still alive and free. Ah. Nothing happened to them. Nothing. They are even talking. Mm. <laughs> talking about Desi mm. I did not steal from Nigeria. Yeah. She said, yeah, I cannot forfeit what was never mine. Mm. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. I didn't know that she can speak now. <laughs> this can certainly, I think, is it's, it's, it's resolved now. It's resolved. So I think the best thing to do is so for her to jump into the plane and come to Nigeria and sort things out. I mean, on top, just sit down on a table and, you know, that's it. It's a simple thing. <laughs> Nonsense. Seven Nigerians make list of top 20 world richest pastors. Did you see that? They, they, they figured it out. Seven Nigerian pastors made the list. Mm. Now, my friend, my friend, if your pastor is not on the list, I tell you, someone is misusing your tithes and offerings. Ah. Check very well. I mean, my pastor, my pastor is there. He's there. Number three. Number three. <laughs> I don't want to reveal. I don't want everybody to go. I don't want all of you to go to that church. You know, he's there on the list. If your pastor is not there, check very well. Your tithes are being misused. Anyway, Buhari has been fulfilling his campaign promises. Says Lai Mohammed. I mean, I mean, you know, now that he saw Buhari, he could he, he could talk with authority. And I, and I agree with him. I, I know of one that Buhari fulfilled. Buhari ended medical tourism. What? Oh yeah, he ended it. Now he started a new thing called medical residency. <laughs> that, that one requires you to be to be to be to be there for hundred days or more. That's the requirement. It's, it's, it's a new one. It's a new one. It's a, it's, it's a new one. <laughs> Anyone, if you stay there less than 100 days, it's not, it's not a tourism, you, you, you know, you, there's special visa for that one. <laughs> now, buying 6.1 billion Naira cards for House of Rep members mm. is in national interest. Mm. Did you hear that? That's the chairman of the committee saying that they spent, they spent 6.1 billion to buy cards for the House of Rep members. Mm. And it's for national interest. Hey. Meanwhile, meanwhile. As for ASU strike, <laughs> that one is for the interest of pimps. <laughs> that, that's what he said. I'm not making it up. He said, no, that one is not a major issue. It's for pimps. But buying cars for them, 6.1 billion. Mm. That's enough to build a, build a good hospital in your, yes, in your hometown. Yes, that yeah, Buhari. yeah, that would three Buhari. <laughs> that's enough to furnish the hospitals we have. And Buhari will not have to go and spend 100 days in, in London. Mm. But they are, they, are to, they are using it to buy cars for members of House of Red. Mm -hmm. These are people that got cars the other year. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Every year. Nonsense. And they give them money to service it. This one is for you. <laughs> this one is for you. 
29 born again Christians mm. return their WAIC certificates what? for cheating when they sat for the exam. Mm. Oh, yeah, they were touched. I mean, they became born again, they were touched about the sin. And they, they re this is wonderful, you know. This is what I'm talking about. Are they gonna go back this, to sit first? No, the, no, 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 no. Well, I'm talking about the money they earned during that period. What, ah. what happened to that money? Are they returning that money to? <laughs> I mean, I don't get it, you know. But on that money, they said, shh, don't, don't even mention. <laughs> and the job they got, shh, they're still on the job. They returned the certificate, but they're still working. <laughs> ah! I know, I know. Did you take work? <laughs> <laughs> It's time for your email. It's time for your email. Wow. So what's it So what happened? Mm -hmm. Why are you not wearing? I am protesting. Your... Why are you protesting? Ah, you went to where did you go again? Uh, Kenya, and you didn't. Oh, okay, you okay. Didn't take I, I, you me. know, you saw, you saw his last episode. You see, uh -huh. I was you see, it. No, 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 no. The thing is, this, this is you know, it's a complex thing. You know, the visa problem. How you was have. it? And but I'm a US citizen. It doesn't matter. They don't. I just can go they don't, anywhere. They don't just let any. It's not every country that allows ah. anybody to just come. You know, come in there. You know. But I'm talking to them next time. We're going back. We are going back. You know. We, I went there for a special assignment. We're going back. I've been saying it. Don't worry. Don't Get worry. Get a new one. Don't worry. Don't a worry. Chinchon. No, no. We are not changing. Hey. I, I, they, ah, we are not bring changing. them. Not changing I'm ready. To hey. Bring a new one. Tomato Joss is the They'll first wife. Me. Uh -huh. They'll come. In. <laughs> All right, all right. Let's let's hear the emails because we something is happening downstairs. I had that day somebody was stabbed. Let's hear the email. Ah, okay. <laughs> our first email is from Doctor James in Lusaka, Zambia. Oh, my fellow doctor. Yes, he told me he will write. I didn't know. You know, I, I didn't know he will write. He said we just talked the other day. Ah, what, oh, yeah? what did he say? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. He writes, mm -hmm. dear Doctor Damage. Yes, my friend. I'm a Zambian medical doctor who wow. recently started watching your show. You see, you and see? have not regretted since. This is my man. However, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> that's your man. Well, because, <laughs> mm, once you hear about, however, mm -hmm. yes, there's one important matter. Mm? Your good office seems to be overlooking. What is that? Why is it that we still do not know the real diagnosis for General Buhari's condition? Oh, oh Buhari, yeah, yeah. Mm. Mm. What does he want me to do? We all want to know. Yeah. <laughs> I therefore wish to take an executive decision uh, uh, on behalf of all your fans. Uh, uh, I hereby order your office mm. to carry out a thorough clinical, laboratory, and radiological evaluation oh. on President Buhari and present a full and comprehensive report to your viewers within 48 48 or oh, he spelled it out this, 48 hours there's a deadline from receipt of this email there's a deadline please so, 48 hours it's a serious order please summon your entire team mm. of medical experts mm. of this mammoth task wow mm. dr james we are on it i'm reporting to this <laughs> i'm reporting to this where are my gloves where where, where is my gloves eh? doctor, we have to get, operate I'll, on this I'll man go get it. we have you see, we don't have time for more emails. Um, um, that's it. That's all the time we have for emails. We have to operate on Buhari. We have to. This is another. Uh -huh. um, please I keep sending your emails. emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com. And follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. And on Instagram at Dr. Damages. Now, here's my concern for today. It's taken from number 419 of Barack Obama's best tweets. Huh. Now, this is the most liked tweet in history. Huh. And it says, it's quoting Nelson Mandela, and it says, no one is born hating another person because of the color of his skin, nope. or his background, or his religion. Mm -mm. People must learn to hate, and if they can learn to hate, they can be taught to love. Mm. For love comes naturally to human hearts, than its opposite. Sure does. This is deep from Nelson Mandela. So from Nelson Mandela. Hey, Until next week, peace. I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Woo! Now, 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 now. It was, it, was, it was wonderful. I, I came back with uh, chapati and uh, <laughs> Noma Choma. <laughs> And Ugali. Ugali. <laughs> Ugali. Wonderful. You didn't bring back anything for me. Kenyans are wonderful people. Uh, it's coming. This is another it's coming. reason it's, why I'm protesting. It's coming in the, it's in the mail. Huh? It's coming. Just, just relax. Okay. You know, calm down. It's coming. The okay. special delivery. The, the, okay. the, yeah, it's coming. It's coming. Okay. It's, yeah, there's um, you know, some things I got for you. Like that. Uh -huh. You wear good skin. 
<laughs> you drink uh, milk, goat ah. milk. You drink goat milk. Ah. Wonderful. Have you tested goat milk? Mm. I, I drank goat milk in, I, I, in Kenya. I started acting like a goat. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goat or she goat? Uh, I, they didn't explain. They didn't say the name. Oh but just this God. is goat milk. And I, I drank it. And I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> I have no words uh, for you. So, so, so you said you had protesting. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that. Because you don't care. No, didn't you? We, don't care. Didn't we? Didn't you? Could say, even oh, sorry, ask? How is my family doing? Oh no, I did. I did. Oh, we didn't talk about Sierra Leone. You see, you, you said, could it's, even. No, ask. it's a tragic thing. We don't want you to talk about. Tra- we don't. We don't talk about tragedy. How is my show. family doing? Yeah. So I'll just we, take my leave. Eh? This is. This is. So what just don't vex. You don't care. <laughs> ah. Ah, I forgot that you're from Sierra Leone. Come back, come back. Let's 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 talk about that. Come come back, come back. No, that's true. You see? No, no, seriously, yeah. Let's talk about it. No, no, we're not doing that. I don't. That's keeping it real. She's the one that says, "Oh, our 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 hearts, our hearts goes condolences." We don't we don't care. We don't care really. You see? You don't care. Exactly what I said. But 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 wait wait wait. So 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 um. What's happening in your country? I heard that there is a mud flood. What, what happened? Mud slide. Mud slide. Also. People died. Are you okay? People. Are you okay? I'm standing here, aren't I? Your people are okay. I know, I know they live on, in mansions and all these big houses. Like, From your mouth kind of to God's ear. This thing will not touch your family. My mother is watching. You know? I know, I know, I'll I know. You we, we take care. You, you're yet to do that. Uh, yet? Okay, come and see me after the show. We, you uh, see, so we'll he's been check. hiding money we'll, and paying me. <laughs> we'll, we'll, pay we'll, me. We'll, we'll take care of I mean, because we, don't, we want uh, you here. I always we need knew you. there was something. We need you on this show. All these trips that you're starting to take. Just come, we write you a check. All these trips, eh? We write you a check. Wow, it's, it's nice to be back God in New York City, watching. you know? Welcome to Fosby Luxury Hotel. At Fosby Luxury Hotel, we offer excellent service. Our rooms have all the necessary facilities to make your stay comfortable and memorable. You will also have access to internet service, breakfast, 24 hour power supply, poor air condition, free international calls, free tire pumping service, and free car battery charge. So, what are you waiting for? Quickly visit Fosby Luxury Hotel. We are located as number one at the Lino Bamishili of Rajira Saki Road, Fos Estate, Amuo Odofi Festa Clinic. For more information or reservation, please call us on 080 75 78 7135 or 080 You can also take advantage of our online ongoing promo at www.fosvhotel.com to make your reservation and payment for your favorite room which attracts a discount rate. Please note, rooms are reserved based on first come first serve. Fosvhotel experience the home of comfort. They come home.